COVID connection, researchers around the world trying to determine whether vitamin D deficiency may have something to do with how likely you are to catch COVID-19 and then how severe it could get. Yeah, Katie, there have been a bunch of studies linking vitamin D and COVID, but the key question for researchers, is there a cause and effect relationship here or just a loose connection? Tonight, the Health Insider team taking that debate to the experts. If you've been in the vitamin aisle lately, you may have noticed something missing, an empty space between the bottles of vitamin C and fish oil. Sales have spiked nearly 42% since the pandemic began, as research in the U.S. and abroad appears to suggest a possible link between vitamin D deficiency and more severe COVID outcomes. I'll admit, I take vitamin D supplements myself. I don't think you're wrong taking supplements and trying to make sure your immune system is healthy because the healthier you are in general, the better you're going to react to infections no matter what it is. Sunshine is a primary source of vitamin D, but diet and supplements can also contribute to overall levels in your body. Low levels of vitamin D are common in people who are obese and smokers. The CDC also listing those as underlying conditions that increase the risk for severe COVID complications. It's not a surprise that risk factors for one disease seem to be risk factors for other diseases. But Dr. Ross Goldberg says that the data just isn't there yet to prove or disprove a cause and effect relationship between a vitamin D deficiency and severe COVID complications. He does caution too much vitamin D can also be dangerous. Like you can't put more gas in your car when you fill the tank. It just it is what it is. So if you try to put more gas in the car and then you try to drive away, the gas catch on fire and the car could explode. So you really are. It, it's always having that delicate balance of keeping your body in good, healthy condition and not overdoing it one way or another. All right, so the bottom line, like so many things connected to this pandemic, the vitamin D question is something that needs more research. Now, meantime, if you have a question or a story you want our Health Insider team to look into, just email your ideas, your questions to healthinsider at abc15.com.